Okay, before we talk about how to go about creating the content with the images and the quotes, you really need to think about carefully what images or even quotes resonate with your audience. So you might be thinking, well, I sell like scuba diving stuff or basketball stuff. Then what you could do is you could find celebrities in that niche and then find quotes from them kind of thing. So you kind of have to get a little bit creative in this case, but you want to think what images would stand out and what quotes would stand out. Now there's a site called getstencil.com. That's getstencil.com. So it says stencil here, but it's getstencil.com. And uh, you can log in and they'll give you access to a ton of quotes and a ton of really good looking images. So let's say for example that we are in the business niche. So we'll type the keyword in business and uh, we are focusing on, let's say business women. So let's say this one resonates with the demographic. So what we wanna do is we want to click it like so, we can move it around. And of course we want to delete the other text, put it down here. And we wanna find a photo that resonates with that demographic. So we could type in business woman and see what we get. So we could do something like, like this, maybe. Now obviously that does not, you cannot read that, so you're gonna need to play with it a little bit until the text fits in like that. Like that. And maybe the size is just too big, so we get that there. And then maybe we put that here, like that. Okay, so once you like it, all you have to do is you can click save or save it to a collection, which is basically like a folder, or you can click download and then upload that to Facebook. Now, what's really cool about Get Stencil is they have a feature where uh, once you have all the images created, you can use their share feature and right click and connect it to your Facebook fan page. So within Get Stencil itself, you can actually share the image instead of having to log in to Facebook and do all that. You can also hire a freelancer to, you can say, I want you to log in every single day at this time, this such and such time, and then do a share from Get Stencil and go from there. So that way people are constantly engaging with your content. Now, something that we found that works really well is to get an idea of kind of a central location or a central time that might be midday or during a certain time where your audience is free and then post during that time. So that's it. That's uh, all we do is create images that resonate with the audience, and then words, whether they're quotes, whether you can find them here or elsewhere on Google. And that's all we do. Take these, create these content, uh, create hundreds, hundreds of these images, and then just post them on a daily basis. One thing you want to do is, and keep this in mind, is to be consistent. Uh, people like consistency because it's predictable. So if you upload an image, make sure you do it every day, or... If you communicate with them and say, we're going to upload every other week or every week, you don't want to do every other week. That's, that's too long, but every other day kind of thing, or twice, three times a week. So that is how to create the very, very simplistic five minute or even less content. And that's all we do is you don't have to get fancy. You don't need article content or anything like that. Your whole goal right now is to build engagement and build those fan page likes and show people that
that are looking at your page like, hey, this is an engaging and people are getting engaged, people are active, come join this community. Because a lot of times if you yourself, if you're looking at a fan page and it's all empty, then you're not going to want to join. But if you see a lot of people, you know, communicating, commenting, liking, sharing, psychologically, you think, oh, there must be something interesting, right? So that's it. And let's move on to the next video.